Most people who describe The Walking Dead to their friends and family use the word zombie when trying to give a short synopsis of the popular post-apocalyptic horror show. The show follows a group of survivors as they attempt to fend off undead creatures looking to feast on humans. The monsters from the series are, for all intents and purposes, zombies, undead creatures whose corpses were supernaturally reanimated, who roam the world near soundlessly. So why don't the characters on The Walking Dead actually refer to said monsters as zombies? They're called literally everything else – walkers, monsters, roamers, geeks, lurkers, biters, the infected, empties, and muertos, the Spanish word for dead. But not once in the 10 seasons of The Walking Dead has the word zombie crossed the lips of a single character on the show. Robert Kirkman, who co-created The Walking Dead comic books and executive produces a television series, had an explanation for the omission while speaking to Conan O'Brien. We wanted to avoid that uh, notion of, uh, hey, why isn't that character just uh, you know shooting that zombie in the head because it's all those movies I saw. Based on Kirkman's comments, leaving the word zombie out of The Walking Dead has been an extremely deliberate omission all along, and one that makes a ton of sense. The Walking Dead takes place in a universe where, you know, zombie fiction doesn't exist. You know, no one inside The Walking Dead has seen a Romero movie. In other words, there's no reference to the word zombie on The Walking Dead because the word simply doesn't exist in that universe. Any zombies out there? Don't say that. What? That. Even though the word is never used on screen in the popular series, Kirkman did cop to the fact that he himself refers to The Walking Dead as a zombie show. He also added that the word is regularly said on set and actually written in the scripts despite never making it into the dialogue on the series. As far as we're concerned, that gives us permission to continue calling them zombies even if we never hear the word uttered on a single episode. The series, on the other hand, will continue using clever ways to avoid stating the Z word. Characters will forever call the undead creatures walkers and plenty of other colorful options. Though The Walking Dead team has gone out of their way to avoid using zombie on the series, the word has popped up a few times within Kirkman's comic series. In the second issue of The Walking Dead, Glenn Ree instructs Rick Grimes to take a giant leap from the roof of one building to the roof of another. Rick says that there's no way that he's going to do that, but Glenn tells him he doesn't have a choice unless he wants to die. It's in this exchange that the word zombie is used. Glenn tells Rick, you're gonna have to. Listen, it's easy, I do it all the time. When we climb down this building, those things will still be waiting for us at the bottom of that building, and there's no way out of that one. All these buildings are filled with zombies, trust me. The word is again used a few issues later. Rick actually employs it twice in the same conversation, telling fellow survivor Tyrese, When we camped near Atlanta, we went into the city. Most of the zombies just sat around not doing anything unless provoked. Then our camp was attacked. A pack of those things just tore through us, killed two of our friends, so I gotta think that there are other kinds of zombies that roam around, always on the move. Since both occurrences of the Z-word show up fairly early in the comics, the use of the word likely comes down to Kirkman still deciding what the world of The Walking Dead was going to look like. Regardless, zombie, zombie, Roma, or walker, no matter what you call them, we're just glad they're totally fictional. The Z-word, don't say it. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Alright. Are there any out there, though? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.